Hello everybody and welcome back to the simplified server. <laughs> Today I again start off in the skelly farm but you know I promised you that uh, I would do oh that's loud. Uh, I would do the cow farm and we'll go over that in a second but I am just level 22 so I want to enchant quickly this uh, diamond shovel here because I'm a bit tired of digging dirt forever with an iron shovel so let me get level 30, should be, yeah, there it is. And, yeah, so let's see what we get. Oh, it's only efficiency 4. But okay, uh, we got a diamond shovel, and now let me go over to the other side, because over here I did this room, and over here I want to build the cow farm. I might make a layer-by-layer -layer tutorial for it, because it's pretty too easy to build a layer-by-layer, -layer, but... And the let's play, I, I guess I want to talk a bit about redstone and how the redstone works in this circuit. So I guess let's uh, start right away. And um, the principle of the cow farm works is that is a pop-up cow farm. So we have uh, cows uh, jumping up and down and uh, the baby cows will get separated by the water and by a piston. Why well, we need the piston I will explain later, but for now, um, they will pop up and down and the baby cows will get to the side and when they grow up, they will be grilled by lava. And so, we have two dispensers in the system. The first one we get right here, that's where the cows will stand on. And um, so there will be a block here where the cows stand on and then uh, jump up and down so we can breed them. And then we have a second dispenser here, which will contain the lava. And it will dispense lava exactly for so long that the cows will die by the fire damage and we get steak. Um, so to activate it, uh, we would just have a redstone dot here and a block on top where a lever will be on. And this will power the uh, water dispenser here. And we want to turn off the water when we turn off the lever. So uh, when we turn off the lever, we want also to dispense the lava there. So what we uh, want to have is a falling flank detector. And I was recently asked, what does a falling flank detector do exactly? Um, because I often talk about it in my videos, but I never really explain how this thing works and why I use it. So. Uh, I guess let me go over to a yeah, let's let's use this. So if we have a signal over the time, uh, like this. So that's, that's not a wire. That's a graph. Like we have a power level of zero first, and then our power increases, so the signal is on. So the time goes in this direction. It's off. Then it goes on, stays on, and it goes off again. And this signal we can uh, we have the part where it's off and the part where it's on and then there are these changes in the signal so uh, when the signal turns on we have a rising flank because it goes from 0 to 1 and we have a falling flank where the signal goes from 1 to 0 and um, that's the part which we want to detect and the way we do it is with the repeater and there's uh, the lock function of the repeaters because um, when we turn on this redstone dust, this repeater will get lit and it will block this one. And as long as this redstone is lit, this repeater will get be blocked. When we turn it off, um, this repeater will turn off first, so the parts with, uh, which is still in this repeater can go in and two ticks after um, this will turn off, so we only have a two tick pulse when we turn off our lever and that's the principle I really often use and I like this more than the piston um, rising flank detector because uh, it's silent and you can easily do a, uh, that's a one tick pulse, two tick pulse, three tick pulse and you can extend it, so uh, I really like this system. Okay. So now we have this in place, we want to wire up our um, other dispensers, so um, we go down here and then into this dispenser, so when we have the falling flank, the lava will get um, spit out 
and then with some delay we turn off the water. So turning on the uh, lever means turning on the water, turning off the lever means first of all turning on the lava and turning off the water. Now we also need another wire over here and put some delay into it so we take the pulse we get when the falling flank comes and we make an 11 tick delay here so that's 11 ticks place a block here and a block here so when we turn on the lever water goes on when we turn off the lever first of all the lava gets on 4 ticks after the water t uh, goes off and 11 ticks after the uh, lava goes on, the lava goes off again and uh, we grill our cows. So that's uh, the basic thing. Now I want to place in some um, additional things uh, because this was made before, of course. And um, you have a little problem that your cows get more and more in the system because not all the baby cows go over to the side and I saw we can just take an output from right here place a repeater here so we get a bit more delay into it and then we have a redstone torch right here and another repeater to get more delay block another redstone torch and then we can place a sticky piston uh, right here so when we turn it off after um, the lava is off we give this person a short pulse which will push uh, over the cows which are standing right on this block here so we're pushing them over uh, so the big cows can't go over because there will be a block uh, which blocks it because cows are 1.5 uh, blocks high and the baby cows can get pushed over so uh, we push uh, the baby cows out not just pushing them out by the water we also push them with the piston and uh, the second piston I have here I want to place right here so we can uh, block this part here um, where the cows go over so we have a breed mode so I place another block here and now I can already place two levers on top of these blocks so one here and one here when I press this one only the piston will extend and we have the breed mode and when I extend this one you have the little click and when I turn it off you heard three clicks and also this piston moved. So uh, now we will fill in some blocks here. I want to do it out of glass because I think it looks pretty nice. Also I would try to hide some torches so it's quite bright down here. Um, let's see we can hide a torch maybe there. and. Yeah, I guess it enough torches. Um, now let's place the other blocks. So uh, we want to contain the cows in there. So we have a gap here, but blocks around. And uh, I will make a half slab so we can't fall into this little gap. So we just place two blocks here, half slab, and uh, the cows can jump up and down but we can't fall into this little hole and also we need uh, some hoppers so already made chests and I will make two hoppers for now and I just realized I missed something because we also need to place some signs so we don't have trouble with the water um, and also the lava. So the first time we go right here, so when the baby cows stand on top of the hopper, uh, which we will place like this, uh, like this, so um, the baby cows stand in here, and when the lava gets dispensed, because the baby cows are too small, they don't get burned. And I guess I don't have enough 
glass in total. But yeah, let me test how far I get. Um, need two glass blocks here and another sign so the water doesn't flow in there. Actually, we can place the sign to the front, maybe. There it goes, like this. And now we can just cover this up. And the basic cells are done, if I'm not wrong. So we just need to grab uh, some water, place it into here, and I guess I will put this water there. Get some lava from down here and put it into the lava dispenser and then we can test it um, I can get to it from here so like this and when I now hit this one we have the water great it works so I hope I didn't miss a glass block because you can't really see it and um, yeah, let me just cover the rest of this up so we don't fall in anymore and of course you can nicely see the redstone and I don't have enough glass so I guess I will go get some cows and some wheat and some more glass and I'll be back in a second Okay, I'm trying to get some cows over. Mm. I just need two, but uh, they're kind of hard to navigate in this biome, uh, in this in this one amplified world. And I thought I used the opportunity and show you a bit around what changed in our little town here. And as you can see, the house uh, grew a bit, and they built a lot. And there's also a staircase going up to the top of this mountain and I thought wow I need to go there and take a look over our village but when you're up there you only see the fog as you can see it's in the fog for me now and of course when I'm up there uh, the part down here is in the fog and I guess I lost my cow again um, so let's try this again um, yeah, and what else changed? Uh, bears building something strange there. I don't know what this is. But we will see in, at a later point. And yeah, uh, Achievement Gaming, of course, is building up there his house. And yeah, that's basically what changed so far. As you can see, I was already getting some wheat. Mm -hmm. And I just need to fit this cow through my door. And here I'm back and I got some cows in there so now I can demonstrate maybe how this works so it's already some cows so let me put it into the normal mode and when I now turn it on they jump up and down I can just hold right click and as you can see some baby cows are popping out but not all of them and then I switch uh, back to a normal item hit the lever again and there you can see that I guess two baby cows uh, went over and one cow is bugging down there I wonder if it's really there or wow and you what are you doing oh come on are you kidding me go in there thank you um yeah and you maybe saw already I was working here a lot so it's actually the next day now and yeah I also put in a nano farm in here it's just a block moving up and down and a one tick clock for this uh, dispensers which fire bone meal and so I can get wheat easily and uh, then over here I got my AFK fish farm you can find a tutorial on my channel of course and I made it a bit different so you can't see the redstone at all and when I turn it on I can just wait for skeletons to spawn and this was only possible because we were in the nether and um, I got some oh, does it work? Yeah. Uh, I got some uh, nether quartz so I could make comparators uh, to build this up and um, yeah, I can just wait here AFK and get some fish which is pretty cool maybe we can catch one on camera now should be quite fast cause I got lured 
three, I guess, on my fishing rod. So, hopefully, there's a fish incoming. Let's just wait a little bit more. Um, I haven't really used this farm um, to now, so, yeah. As you can see, I got a puffer fish, and you can just put something on your mouse to use it. Uh, I really like this farm because it's super cheap, the redstone is all behind this wall and uh, not much to it. And I also made this enchanting room over here where you can see the chest. I want to put in um, um, in a chest so we have our valuables here. And um, the way I use this farm now, let's see how many do I get in there. Um, it's about 80. Um, normally I would kill the skeletons like this, just punching them, but uh, when I AFK here and I want to get the XP quickly, I can just use a uh, splash potion of healing and uh, kill them all at once, which is pretty nice, because I can just fish there, go over, kill them, go enchant, fish, kill them, enchant, and so on. So, let's throw the potion now. Almost all are dead and I get lots of XP at one time. So I put in lots of um, stuff into this farm and to now it was public, but I thought I could need some materials. So what I did was remove the pressure plates in front of here and now um, people sell me gold, diamond, iron or emerald, whatever they want, um, and they can just put it in this chest, the door will open, and they can walk in, use this farm as long as they want, but I get a bit of stuff back that I put into here, and uh, yeah, they can use this farm, and enchant as many stuff as they want, and when they're done, they can just walk out, and hopefully uh, people on the server are nice and pay me something um, and don't just break a block and sneak in here because that would be pretty mean. It's a lot of work uh, went into this whole farm and I think they could give me something. So yeah, I guess um, that that's it for today's uh, video. It goes up on Sunday, I hope. Um, so a bit earlier than the last ones. And yeah, I, I thought I would just upload a video when I got around 15 minutes done. Sometimes it could take uh, two weeks, sometimes half a week, I don't know. But as always, please leave feedback on uh, the comments because that really helps me. Maybe you have some suggestions what I should do in the next episodes or you just want to tell me that you watched the video and I'm always super happy if I uh, have comments under my videos. So yeah, please leave a comment. Of course if you're new subscribe if you haven't already and um, also uh, if you have friends that are watching YouTube videos uh, like Let's Plays, um, tell them that I do videos send them links and show them my videos that would be super nice and yeah i guess that's it so see you in the next video bye